Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. Now I've been waiting to make this video for so long and I finally managed to get this. I'm gonna be reviewing the Black Series Darth Vader helmet. So yes, I had a little, I've already taken it out of the box. I've already like done some stuff with this thing. I already put the batteries in and had a little uh, fiddle around with it just because I couldn't wait. But it doesn't really make much difference because it, the, uh, like I like you know taking this out of the box wouldn't look, look the prettiest anyway. It's just a load of paper annoyingness in that blah blah blah. So uh, I'm gonna give you a look at the box. It's out of the box. As you can see, it shows you where you can pull it into three parts. Which everything's working. My helmet is is actually all fine. It works hopefully. So when we go over here, more pictures on the back. You have got the picture of the thingy all opened up. It shows you everything here. The best part is, I'm, I am confident with helmets, so I'm not very nervous at all to do this. I'm quite chill, but this is the box, very big box. But now when we turn over here, there is the Darth Vader helmet. So it comes with a little, like, stand bit to hold up the helmet. It's not a stand, but a little, like, bit to support it, so it's not, like, leaning down, it's all wobbly in your collection. But, as you know, if you've watched my Forbidden Planet videos, you would have seen this in the cabinet. But I've got it, actually, in my own house now, which is so good. I am going to be putting this on uh, as well, which I'm super excited. I'm going to put it on like the difficult way just to show you guys. So I'm going to show you, okay, I've got the batteries in. I'm not going to show you the door. I'll show, I'll, I'll put the sound on right now, okay? So that's the first sound when it's all connected together. Very good. And as you can see, if it's stay on for a long time, it's quite hard uh, to get everything in because it's so big. But I love it. I actually love it. So the, now the magnet. This is all operated by magnets. The magnets are actually very surprisingly very, very, very strong. So it's gonna. It's hard. You have to take the dome off. It's very hard to pull the magnets apart. But first, we're gonna. I am gonna take the dome off now, which is really good. When I have this on, when I was tried on, it like it, it fits me. Obviously, I, I tightened it up, but like it, it, my nose keeps slipping off the nose piece. So I, I need to work some stuff out because I want to start wearing this around. It's beautiful. But anyway, I'm gonna take off the dome piece, and this is where the detail really comes in. Okay, so it's still gonna make the same breathing sound because the dome is not connected to the electronic circuits. But as you can see, this is what it looks like. Now, this is the detail we're talking about. So if you watched uh, Revenge of the Sith or Return of the Jedi, this is the Return of the Jedi version, by the way. You know when. This is this is the this is, these are like the electronic bits. Uh, these are covered up by the dome. The dome is like the protect. It's his helmet. It actually protects this. This is the underbelly. This boy. I don't know how this works, but I think it helps him breathe. As you can see, and the detail continues over there. As you see, in a minute, but as you can see, look at this thing. What? Ow! What a great blooming helmet. I'm putting this on. I'm gonna do it the like the, the proper way to do it, just to entertain a bit more. Uh, look at this thing. Uh, yeah, it, it, I will, I'll turn it around in a bit so you can actually see the back of it, as you can see. Oh my god, that's so cool. I'll turn it around. And as you can see, the magnets are very hidden. They built it into it. But as you can see, you've got the behind bit. This is actually slightly rubbery, as you can see. You just have to, these are not magnets, but they unclip very, very easily. But you've got the strap here. But if you look inside of it, look at the detail. I'll give you a better look of it when I've disconnected the other bit, but there's a sound effect where you di when you break it apart, and, and, and when you break it apart, it makes a sound. When you take off the this bit, when you put it back it, uh, on, it makes another sound. But it doesn't make a sound for the dome because that almost would be impossible. But as you can see, ev you don't even need this detail inside the helmet. But they just decided to do it. But okay, I, I want someone to hold the camera quickly, so I I, I should stand by the way, just so I, I can pull it apart. I can't do it with one hand. Okay, listen to this. So yeah, that's the first sound. When you put it back together, it. So I'm going to break that one part. I like the bit where it breaks your part the best. So that is a nice one. But anyway, I'll show you the rest of the helmet. This is a proper look at the actual face mask bit before I show you the cool bit. Not cool bit. Wait, it's all cool. So I show you the uh, the the collar. Yeah, look, just showing that, look at that detail though, yeah, you can see it. If I just block the flash up, you can actually see the detail so much more better. And I, I love it. I love that it can, it flicks into all these pieces. Like this, a lot of people which were Darth Vader fans, when they, when this came out, they thought, I didn't even know this existed. But this for £100 is worth it. You love Darth Vader, get this. Even if you like Star Wars, this is way worth it. And the Mandalorian helmet as well. I did a review on that, go and check that out. Better look at the detail inside of it, a bit of padding as well, really cool. And now it's time for the collar bit, one of my favourite deep parts. 
Okay, the collar bit. So basically, this is what it looks like. This is just the bottom of Darth Vader's helm mask. You know this, but as you can see, they've actually put wires into this. Oh my god, my, my tower's about to fall off the table. But these are actually wires, as you can see, rubber wires. And it didn't eat, like people said in their reviews, and I'm gonna say right now, they didn't even need to do this, but it's, it's basically a hot, this feels like a hot toy. Uh, no, it's like, the, I said that the Mandalorian, like they've had the quality of their making these helm, like, Black Series are, I think, as good at, as Hot Toys at making helmets. You know, oh no, Hot Toys don't make helmets, but you know, the detail is as good as Hot Toys, but when I make the figures, it's Hot Toys still. But the detail, like, the thing is, Hot Toys are the same. Hot Toys will make unnecessary details, which you're never going to really see. But that's what I like about this. Look at this thing. Uh, I, there's another sound effect as well, which is, I don't know how they managed to pull this one off, but if you have the, the face mask disconnected, it will make the one where he's struggling to breathe, which is such a good feature in my opinion. And as you can see, the magnets are extremely strong, so this thing is not, it's not going to wobble on your head, uh, the dome won't, you know what I mean? I'm actually going to put this collar piece on soon, but if you listen to this, this is a really good sound effect. Oh, what? Very good. It's very loud as well. I love that. Okay, but now I think that's, I'm gonna, I'm, we're going to just the straps on the mask and we're going to get this thing on. I'm going to go the hard way. I recommend the way to put this on is have this face mask connected to it. Undo these bits and just put it on your face like it's a mask. Connect it. Uh, help. Ask someone to help help you or something to connect these two bits and then put the dome on. But I'm going to do it the difficult way. Uh, where I put the neck collar on, then the mask, and then the dome, just for the content, and it, I think it will look cool on the camera, but look, if I go over here, oh god, this thing is so detailed, look at this, wow, better than the Mandalorian helmet, I think everyone could say that, but the Mandalorian helmet is still 10 out of 10. Okay, first I want to do this bit off camera, but like I said, if you want to put this on easily, have the face mask on already, I'm, I told you, but... Yeah, it won't fit with my head. Obviously, you need a giant neck and a really big head for it to stay like this, like it does in the film. But obviously, I have a very slim neck, so it would just be like this. But when you have the mask on, it won't matter anyway. But look, you can see all the detail. I look very epic. And obviously, you got the, the button here. Oh, wait. That's loud. So the speakers are like right here, under there, I think. One more time and I'll put the actual thing on. I'm very nervous. Ooh. Right, now, I've watched people do this. I, I just... I really hope I didn't damage that. I don't think I really would. I'm taller than that looks, okay? I'm gonna do this down here and I'll get up again. Okay, so no, no. Okay. I told you this is the difficult way. Might have a look on the mirror. I did it. There's a still a bit here, but I didn't do. There's still a bit hanging out. Okay, I might have to disconnect this. So I need to get it lined up. There. I feel I got it. Okay, I'm gonna, uh, this, I basically did it. I'm going to pause the camera so I can get this other side on. Okay, this is what, what I've got so far. You can still uh, uh, activate the breathing. Like, if you press this button, it'll, it'll do the actual breathing, you know, the, the proper breathing. But I'm just going to put the dome on uh, to, until I do that. But look, okay, one thing with me is, okay, it, it's on my face properly, my, ne my my chin is down there. But it is like, it, it, it sits a bit wobbly on my face for some reason. But if you go around, this is a good look at the detail. You can see my hair as well, quite well. And it's actually very comfortable. Once you get it tightened up, it's very comfortable, but now, this is it. <laughs> it's time for the actual thing. I'm, I'm ready. You see at the back as well, I'm coming on.
I did it. Just gonna check the mirror. Oh wait, I don't know if it's quite on. Is it? I think we got it. I think it looks quite on. Yep, we got it. This is what I look like. I'm finally Darth Vader. It's a bit weird in my face, but it's a heavy helmet. So if you look around, I'll put the breathing on in a minute. Oh my god, I feel so evil. Here we are. Now. What is it? That's loud. I think you can see my eyes as well, you will be able to because the, the flash, but if you don't have light, you won't be see the eyes, which is good. And um, look at me. This thing's done. I'm going to check in the mirror again. Yeah, it's all lined up. This is a 10 out of 10 piece. I love it. I don't think you even need a valid club either, but look at me. I, oh, I love it. This is really good. So, I've got a plan for the end of the video. We're going to pause the camera in a minute, so I'm going to give you a look at me outside in it, but I'll come on and take it off and I end the video, okay? So, yeah. Go. Oh, yeah. So, one thing, this helmet is amazing, like I said, but... I think I might have to, I'm not sure if the, if the straps to hold my head this way, where it tilts this way, are actually even, so I'll, it, it's not, it's only a little change, it's not going to take um, much to do, but if I can even those straps up, I think it's going to sit on my face a little bit better, but look at this thing, it smells very new inside as well, so this is well worth the money, you definitely should get one of these, it's super, super, super good. Uh, obviously I'm going to go inside in a minute just to show you, uh, just take it off and show you, so... Because I like the, the, the taking it off is going to be difficult as well. But look at this thing. I love it. One more time with the breathing and we're done. See, so guys, I'm going to meet you inside and hopefully I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, so yeah. I'm going to do the process of me taking it off. I'm going, to, I'm going to go backwards so you can see the detail, okay, so... Yeah, almost. Very difficult. Oh, yeah. Step number one. The feel it coming off me. Oh, yeah, another look. You can still, you can still do this. Oh. Now, this bit. Almost. Very difficult to, to take this part off. Oh! Can't do it. <laughs> Oh, I pulled my muscle again. Very difficult. Okay, I don't think I can take it off that way. I really want to, but I don't know if I can. Uh, think. Uh, this magic is so strong. Uh, I don't know what I can do. Uh, like this. People do this on camera as well. Yes! I did it. That was a really, that was really painful. Oh, I wouldn't recommend Do it the, the way I, I said I was, uh, you should do it. Oh, here it is. Oh, okay. I'll be right back, guys. I'll be right back, guys, at the end of the video. So guys, if you did enjoy the video, hit that subscribe and that like button. As you can see, it's all con uh, uh, done here. I'm not going to show you where I put it because uh, at the weekend, I am going to do a, a little collection talk. Most of my collections are finished. I have no space left. So hopefully, I'll see you guys next time. Make sure you subscribe, like the video, and check out some of my previous reviews. I've got a Hot Toys Jungle Hunter, a... <gasps> oh, it's a...
like that, pardon me, but anyway, hopefully, oh, I'll see you guys next time, goodbye.